In this lecture example, we are looking just at allowances in general. So we're not looking specifically at things like the travel allowance or subsistence allowance. It's very important that you understand what we are doing here, so that you know how to handle reimbursive allowances, and that you also know how to handle just allowances in general. So example one, Mr. A is, an empl is employed by X Limited as a salaried employee. Okay, that's important guys. Remember now when you're looking at individuals, you have to look at if they earn mostly salary or mostly commission, because you'll have to consider section 23M. That is very important for us. The CEO requested Mr. A to take a valued client out for dinner in order to discuss contracts for the new financial year. So the company, the employer, instructs the person to go out for business purposes and X Limited gives Mr. A 5,000 rands to pay for the dinner. So now I ask you, what are the implications of the 5,000 rands if Mr. A spent 3,500 rands on the meal but did not keep a receipt? And he paid back the one and a half thousand rands remaining. Right, so he gets five thousand rands. Three and a half thousand is for the meal. One and a half thousand rand is change. He pays back the one and a half thousand rands, but obviously he's now used the three and a half thousand rands for the meal, but he didn't keep a receipt. So what will happen? He will be taxed on the three and a half thousand rands. Because how can you prove to SARS that he didn't just get an extra amount of money from the employer? Right. So the three and a half thousand rands. B, Mr. A spent three and a half on the meal and submitted the receipt to X Limited, and Mr. A paid the one and a half thousand rands back. So he has a receipt for the three and a half and he pays back the one and a half, so that means he will not be taxed on anything because he didn't receive any benefit. And then C, Mr. A spent three and a half on the meal and submitted the receipt to X Limited, but he kept the one and a half thousand rands as X Limited did not request it to be repaid. So it means he has a receipt. So he won't get taxed on the three and a half thousand, but he will now get taxed on the one and a half thousand because he didn't pay it back. Example two, this one is even more important for me. Mrs. X works for A Limited. During the year of assessment, she received the following allowances. Remember, this is cash. She received a cell phone allowance, an internet allowance, and an entertainment allowance. Now, guys, the first thing that you need to see is, no matter what the situation is, these amounts, the allowances that she received, you don't even have to think about it. You must just know that they will definitely be included in taxable income. And then they tell you, he incurred the following expenses. Or she incurred, sorry. Cell phone charges, internet charge, and entertainment. So you can see we've got a cell phone allowance and a cell phone charge. We've got an internet allowance and an internet charge. We've got an entertainment allowance and an entertainment expense. So now my question to you is, A, what is the taxable income if? She earns only a salary from A Limited, and B, if she earns mainly commission. Now, guys, if she earns only a salary, Section 23M applies. And what does Section 23M do? It tells us what we may deduct. And if you look at Section 23M, does it tell you anything about cell phone charges, internet charge, entertainment expenses? No. So we are not allowed to deduct that if you earn mostly a salary even if we incur it in the production of income. So what I want you to see, guys, look at A. All of the allowances are included in full, and then there's no deduction allowed because of Section 23M. Very important that you see that. B, she earns mainly commission. If she earns mainly commission, Section 23M does not apply. So then it means we will have to just decide if we can claim these expenses based on the general deduction formula. So, if she's incurred self and charges in the production of income, can she claim it? Yes. Internet charges? Yes. And entertainment expenses? Yes. So, look at the difference when it is a person earns commission. Again, all the allowances are taxed, but then you can claim these deductions. Make sure that you see it is 100% of the allowance and 100% of the expense. So, what am I trying to say there? I'm trying to say there that when you're doing the self and allowance, you mustn't just show the net amount. You can't say it's 12,000 rands minus that 11,200 rands. So it means the net effect is 800. You're not allowed to do that. You must include the full amount in taxable income and then decide if you can claim it as a deduction.